All right, guys. So the center stand on this bike. You can see that's cracked. That piece is broken off. And maybe if I get it in there, you can see it's sitting up against the pipe. So I did some research, and I found this Bazzetti kickstand. It's supposed to bolt right on. Work perfect with it. What happened was. Well, here I'll show you. It comes with this U bolt. So I bolted it on. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but the U bolt is bent now. So I put it on. I went to kick it down, and the bike leans to the right hand side instead of the left. Everything I find online on the forums, on their website, it shows that it's supposed to work perfect for a 2008 through 2011 Zuma. This is an 08. So instead of returning it and trying to find something better, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do, I'm going to take this one, cut it off, I don't know, maybe here, and then smash it and bend it up just like this end. I'm going to have to take off this, whatever. So I'm going to get that thrown in my vise. I'm going to pop the springs off too. So I'm going to have to heat it up. That's riveted on. Pop the springs off. Go get my, my angle grinder. And I'm going <laughs> to chop it up and hope I don't mess it up. Squeezing this, flatten it, and my vice broke. It's been broken for a while. When you crank it out, you have to pull the jaws out yourself. But she finally gave it the ghost. That sucks. You look at the date of it, manufacture date. 1981. It's had a good run. It's still cranking down, but I don't know how long she's going to last. But I'm going to heat this back up and try to squeeze it some more. I'm not going to hit the camera on for that. Okay, so I got it shortened and it bent a little bit. Uh, I think it'll be okay. I'm going to pull the plastics off so I can try this thing out. It looks like it's gonna work. All right, guys. <clears throat> so it's two days later. I finally got the kickstand on. Something a little different about it. I ended up cutting three inches off the length of it and pie cutting it and bending it over. I don't know if this scooter's lowered or something, but it was way, way too long. Um, I wouldn't buy this kickstand again. I mean, the, 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 the welds, they're, they're all right. I mean, right here, it's boogery. I mean, it's, it's a strong kickstand. Gusset, gusset. But 
to have to modify it as much as I did, it's, it's not it's not worth it. I don't know, guys. But now I'm going to pull off the center stand. And I'll show you guys that after I get it pulled out. And I don't want to use that stupid thing anymore. I lied. <laughs> I'm not going to take the center stand off quite yet. I don't. I have to pull the pipe off. And I don't have a gasket for it. And I was planning on pulling it off anyway to... Here, I'll show you. I was planning on pulling it off so I can clean it up, repaint it, and polish the actual pipe up. But I'm not going to pull that off right now. But I am going to put the floor back down, put the knee guard on, throw all the bolts on. Okay, so I got the kickstand, I, I guess, done. It's ugly. I just need to throw a little black paint on it. One thing I noticed, when you're riding, this bottom corner scrapes the ground anytime you turn left. Uh, I was actually looking up online, and my bike is stock height. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with these guys that have that kickstand. And um, they use it full length and it's leaning. I, no idea what's going on but this is where i'm gonna end this kickstand one personally i wouldn't buy another one i just figure out how to make one myself but as always thanks for watching guys don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thanks